damn you smell good. You're ripe, you know, you're ripe, you know. Where you man there? We know you have a man. We know you have a man. Hmm? Why are you so quiet? Nah, I say nothing. You're not going with them. Mm. Wait, what you say? You say something? You not say nothing? Damn, you look good. Damn, look on your leg, man. What you afraid of? You're not afraid of me, man. Me alright. Mm. Me didn't want to hurt you. Me didn't hurt you a long time ago. Mm. Damn, you look good. Yo, where you go? Come on, me gone. You know, give me no player. Please subscribe. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Natch. I speak stocks. Today is Tuesday, April 12th. In today's video, I have one play for you and one to put on stock. Before I go into the plays, let me delve into yesterday's recap of the markets. The Dow fell 1.19% at 34,308, the Dow. The Nasdaq, they cratered 2.18% at 13,411, the Nas. Apple plunged 2.5%, Apple is sitting at $165 and 75 pennies, Apple. The big winner yesterday, Veru, V-E-R-U, closed up a whopping 182% at 1228. I tweeted this one out when news broke. The stock opened at 599 and spiked as high as 1457. Let me say that again. The stock went from 599 all the way to 1457. That's their new 52-week high, 1457. The volume yesterday for VERU was 351 million. Their average volume is 6 million. The company came out with promising clinical results. Go ahead and read up the news and on VERU. Dave's play yesterday was GNCA. The stock closed up 50% at 60 cents. The stock opened at 57 cents, spiked as high as 90 cents. And the low on the day, 51 cents. GNCA. The volume yesterday was a whopping, an epic, an eye-popping. 64 million shares exchange hands. Compare and contrast to their measly volume of 300k. GNCA. Let's jump right into it. Dave's play today is an empty play. This one has room to the upside. Just wait for some more pullback. BDSX. BDSX is up 83% at 291 thus far in the pre-markets. The higher day thus far in the pre is 338. The stock closed down. Um, the stock made a new 52 week low yesterday. $1.56, that's their 52 week low. The company came out with news. There were some insider buying. Also, they'll be getting a loan restructure. So, on that, the stock is popping. If this one retracts below $2.62, $2.62, this might be a no-go today. Let's kick the tire. They wear a market cap of $53 million. They have $10 million in the float. This is BDSX. 68% 68, 68 of the float are held by insiders. 13% are held by institution and short has 6% of the float. This one is in the healthcare space based out of Colorado. Okay, BDSX. Let's continue. They have 55 million in revenues. Their revenue per share is <laughs> 1.99. Their gross profit is 24 million. They have a total of 33 million in cash and a total debt of 10 million, BDSX. Their current ratio is sitting at 1.51. Their total cash per share is <laughs> 1.04. BDSX. Please put a stock on PTE. This one is spikeable. 
This one is up 44% at 30 cents. Wait for a pullback. The higher day thus far in the pre-markets, 38 cents. This one could gyrate, PTE. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Dupitit, for my stock alerts. In the meantime, in between time, always protect your neck. Always set a stop loss. Do not invest more than you're willing to lose. And whenever you see some profits, take some profits, because now you see them, now you don't. Dave Natch, I'll see you on the next one. I'm up. Boom, bam, make your next trade your best trade. Do remember, if you wish to open a trading account, check out my Webull link below. You'll get some free stocks. Minimum deposit required is $100. Also, pre-market hours trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. 4 a.m. sharp with Webull. Webull only. The way to go. Pre-market hours trading is very risky. It's not for the risk averse. Do remember, if you wish to do pre-market trading, link inside the description. Please sign up with my Webull link. You'll get two free stocks, okay? Most of these price movements happen in pre. subscribe thank you for sticking around towards the end of my video guys risk management very important you have to have an exit plan whether you're taking profits or you're cutting losses whether it's mentally or you could set up your limit or your stop loss all right I like to do 15 20 percent depends on the stock and the gyration propensity of the stock you don't want to get stopped out and then when you look the stock continues continues upwards you don't want to miss out on those gains all right so risk management very key to successful trading okay cut your losses it's okay you could get back into the stock when you see it moving up again all right very important okay so today's bonus play is, is uh, imrn this is a dangerous runner imrn this is a speculative play do not hold this for long term all right a few weeks ago this stock imrn spiked from two dollars to thirty dollars yes there's quite a lot of money that could be gained if the past is an indicative of the future, which most likely sometimes it does, things tend to repeat, repeat. It might do that again today, who knows? It's a low float. They have a tiny float of three million, okay? It can be manipulated, no institution holding the float. I'm sorry, no insiders holding the float. Institution, a minuscule three percent of the float is owned by institution. Hence, it's vulnerable to price manipulation, market manipulation. Please be careful with this, guys. IMRN. The short percentage is a minuscule 0.07 percent. All right. Their market cap is 36 million. Their 52 week change up 150%. Okay. So IMRN, they're up 62% in the pre <laughs> at $12.50. All right. Is there more run left in this stock? I'm sure it is. 
you just got to get into the pre-market action click the link below sign up with Webull they have extended hours trading and pre-market trading you'll also get two free stocks okay you get a free stock with an initial opening of the account and you get a subsequent stock with a deposit of a hundred dollars all right with at least a hundred dollars you get the second free stock check my link below in the description okay their quarterly revenue growth what did i say i like about quarterly revenue growth who remembers yeah, I like to see double digits revenue growth. All right, so their revenue growth is up 59% year over year, okay? Their current ratio is 4.42. And what did I like? Anything over two, all right? It gives me a nice cash cushion. I like to see a nice cash cushion that keeps you out of trouble every time okay so watch out for imrn it has spike ability we like stocks that have spike ability we don't have to catch the whole move we catch a piece of the move collect our money and we're out all right guys thank you for tuning in please subscribe to the channel if you haven't please like the video appreciate all the likes appreciate the comments please like the video youtube pushes it youtube promotes the videos if you hit the like all right please get me to 400 subscribers please subscribe to the channel thank you for watching have a wonderful weekend and i'll see you this evening with dave's recap boom bam dave natch i'm out of here Got a lot of money invested in a Dave play. Every day, you want your money at? Subscribe to Dave Notch. Football gas rich. Yeah, this is Danny B. the Jingle King. Have a little argument for Guno. Have a little argument for Guno. But you know, I'm going to find myself with the money. And instead, I'm going to squander it and go on with foolishness and go along with. You want your money at? Subscribe. To Dave Natch. Please, me I tell you no. Go on, go make the money no, please. Yeah, man. Wanna do it fast and quick here? Subscribe to Dave Natch. Fast, don't stop. Every day, you want the money go? Check Dave's play. Invest. Interest. Bless. I right, thank you for watching. Dave Natch, I'm out.